welcome to my channel be yourself this is dr rajni sharma and today i'm going to deal with transcription in my previous video under the molecular biology section i already have explained about the dna metabolism now i have switched to the rna metabolism in this i will discuss about the transcription and rna processing under processing i will discuss about the splicing and a uh, five prime capping uh, and uh, polyrelation so let's begin transcription is a process in which enzyme system converts genetic information stored in the segment of dna into rna rna sequence which is produced during this process has a base sequence complementary to one of the dna strand three major kinds of rnas are produced one is messenger rna which is denoted as mrna transfer rna denoted as trna and ribosomal rna denoted as rrna there are two ways to synthesize rna one is dna dependent synthesis of rna and one is dna independent synthesis of rna first i will discuss about the dna dependent synthesis of rna the overall reaction for the rna synthesis is that n number of nuclear monophosphate combined with ntp to form an mp n plus 1 number it means it uh, increases the number by 1 with the release of phosphorus and in this case rna polymerase is used as i, I have discussed in the uh, dna polymerization the main enzyme was their dna polymerase unlike dna poly, uh, polymerization rna polymerization uh, need only one is dna strain for the transcription the strain which is uh, uh, used for the transcription is known as template strain uh, while the other is the non template strain the non template strain is also known as coding strain because rna which is transcribed in this process has a sequence similar to that of non template strain like dna polymerase rna polymerase also has subunits it has two sub, uh, alpha subunit and one beta beta dash and omega subunit the most important subunit in the rna polymerase is the sigma it is a specific for a specific for each rna polymerase rna polymerase lack a proof reading 3 prime to 5 prime activity so there occur one error is made for every 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 5 ribonucleotides then the question is if this much of error is there then how is it possible that genetic diseases will not occur in our, our body the answer is very simple it is that as many copies of an rna are generally produced from a single gene and all rna are eventually degraded and replaced a mistake in an rna molecule is of less consequence to the cell than a mistake in the permanent information stored in dna rna promoter in case of dna or application there is a need of origin from where replication has to start and in the case of rna uh, transcription there is a need of promoter in case of e coli it has an upstream region element minus 35 uh, region spacer minus 10 region and rna start site from where the unwinding of dna takes place and initiation starts in uh, upstream uh, element it is at rich while minus 35 region is has a consequent sequence of t t g a c e Minus 10 region is also known as starter box and has a consequent sequence of T A T A A T. RNA polymerase bind to this promoter. Alpha region bind with the uh, upstream element and beta subunits bind with the minus 35 region. While sigma unit also bind with the minus 35 region. And now is formed the close complex. and when the uh, unwinding of dna starts it will form the close uh, sorry open complex termination of rna synthesis in e coli in case of e coli after the initiation it is followed by elongation and termination process is very clear there are two classes of termination signals one is the ro dependent and other is the ro independent and it has two distinguishing features 
One is that the region whose RNA transcript has cell complementary sequences permits the formation of a hair structure center of adenylase in the 15 to 20 nucleotides before the end of the RNA strand. Second uh, point is that there is a short string of adenylates in the template strand that are transcribed into uridylates at the free prime end of the RNA. Now, for C road independent uh, termination. In this, there is a formation of hairpin loop like structure just before the termination sequence. In the formation of hairpin loop like structure let the RNA polymerase to bypass and this terminate the transcription. And in the case of raw dependent, what happened? There is the raw protein which also travels along with the transcript until it uh, reach and interact with the RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase is now at the site of the termination. As it interacts with the RNA polymerase, it led it to bypass. And in this way, the termination takes place in E. coli. And also in other prokaryotes also, the same process uh, took place. But the termination process in case of uh, eukaryotes is not at defined. The raw protein has an ATP dependent RNA DNA helicase activity that promotes translocation of the protein along the RNA and ATP is hydrolyzed by raw protein during the termination process. Now transcription in eukaryotes. Uh, like replication Eukaryotes transcription process is very complicated. It uh, doesn't have only one polymerase. It has many polymerase. So let's start. RNA polymerase 1 polymerizes 18S, 5.8S and 28S rRNA. Whereas 2 uh, transcribe messenger RNA and 3 transcribe tRNA, 5S rRNA and some other small RNA. And for each polymerization polymerase, they are a specific promoter. For the polymerase 1, the promoter side vary greatly. For 2, it has starter box and INR sequence, which I will discuss later. And for the RNA polymerase 3, polymerase is located within the gene of uh, in uh, upstream sequence. RNA polymerase 2 is a huge enzyme with 12 subunits. It requires many other protein factors for its activity. If we suppose this sequence as a promoter site for the eukaryotic DNA, uh, sorry, RNA synthesis, then first of all, Tata binding factor protein binds to the Tata uh, site and then it is bound with the Tata binding factor 2B and this is stabilized by Tata binding factor 2A. Though it is not required every time, but when the consequent sequence is not in favor with that of the data binding protein, then it is required for its stabilization. Then, RNA polymerase 2 along with the data binding factor 2F bind with this complex, which is then followed by the H and E binding. Now, this forms the close complex. Then, the phosphorylation of RNA polymerase initiates the uh, transcription process which unwinds the RNA sorry DNA at the plus one site which is the INR sequence in case of eukaryotes and, and it continues the elongation process up to 60 to 70 uh, nucleotides after that uh, H and E factor detach from the RNA polymerase 2 whereas factor F Continue the, uh, the process of elongation along with the RNA polymerase 2. RNA polymerase H has an additional activity. which uh, What is that? It also involves in the DNA repair system. Uh -huh. When RNA polymerase interact with the DNA lessons, then uh, factor H will initiate the nucleotide excision repair system, which I already have discussed in the DNA repair video. And uh, if you haven't have missed that video, then I have provided the link of that in my description. You can get that from there. Now, there are certain antibiotics which inhibit the polymerization process. These are actinomyces cindy. How it acts? It intercalates between the GC sequence and uh, the DNA. And it distorts the DNA or we can say it changes the shape of the DNA 
and this halts the elongation process of transcription. Like this, acridine also functions in the similar manner. Another uh, antibiotic, rifampicin, it binds to the beta unit of RNA polymerase, uh, polymerase and prevents it binding with the DNA promoter site. So, in this way, these antibiotics prevent the binding of or the halts the process of transcription. The mushroom amatin phyllites has evolved a very effective defense mechanism against predators. It produces alpha aminitin, which disrupts messenger RNA formation in animal cells by blocking RNA polymerase 2 and at higher concentration, it sometimes blocks the RNA polymerase 3 as well. Neither RNA polymerase 1 nor bacterial RNA polymerase is sensitive to alpha aminitin, nor RNA polymerase 2 of alpha of uh, amanitine phalloid itself. That's all was in my video. In this, I have discussed the transcription process in E. coli and eukaryotes. Initiation and elongation I have transcribed in eukaryotes but not, trans, not, no, not uh, termination because termination of eukaryotes uh, uh, is uh, still under study. So, in my upcoming videos, I am going to discuss about the RNA processing which includes splicing and uh, capping and polyadenylation. So, don't miss that and for that, don't forget to subscribe and share my channel. Be yourself. Till then, goodbye.